folks thank you so very much thank you for all your feedbacks thank you for subscribing to my channel thank you for all the likes all the comments i'm grateful for each one of you thank you for encouraging me i'm grateful for every one of you i love you all yeah today we shall be discussing the things we told you about last time we spoke about finding fulfillment how to find fulfillment how can we inspire people to find fulfillment how can we be fulfilled ourselves to fulfill the god purpose for our lives those are what we introduced last time so today those bad things that will not allow us to be fulfilled those bad things that will not allow us to get fulfilled in our daily lives every day of your life you must be fulfilled at the end of the day when you look at your life at the close of work every day you want to ask yourself am i fulfilled those are things we want to be talking about so those things that will not allow you to get fulfilled so we'll be looking at them today and then we will look at them not in particular order but as a common okay so some of them they are roller coaster where we have to learn about them while we go while we live our lives some we have to learn about them probably from experience some somebody have to tell us some we have to know about ourselves okay number one is poor in spirit poor in spirit a giving up spirit somebody that can give up easily somebody that is not ready to put in more effort oh something happened and the person really just just no i can't go forward any longer a poor in spirit attitude so we need to avoid that while we are trying to find fulfillment we don't have to give up easily when you fall down once get up and shake yourself and say yes i can do it again if this person can do it i can do it don't give up easily those are the things that these people give up easily so you don't have to associate yourself with those kind of people number two poor in love like they say you cannot give what you do not have you can't give what you don't have so you must first of all show yourself that kind of love you must have that self-love pamper yourself first before you can give it to others poor in spirit these people you need to have self-love because it is what you experience that you can give to others okay so you have to have that self-love within yourself you have to love yourself first before you can give it to others so anybody that does not love him or herself you need to avoid that kind of person because they will contaminate you okay as you are trying to find fulfillment number three poor in wisdom they say there are people that are dumb but plain smart there are people that know that they are dumb but they are trying to play dumb and there are people that are smart but they are playing dumb so ask yourself which one are you are you that kind of person that you know i am smart but let me take it too slow let me be let me play dumb to them to get whatever it is i want to get from them you understand people that are not developing themselves people that just feel oh they are contented wherever they are they don't want to improve themselves like they say the side um, you need to learn you need to relearn and you need to continue to unlearn there are things that we need we've learned before and today it is not relevant so this time around you need to unlearn those things there are things that we've learned and we need to relearn them all over again there are things that we don't even know at all we need to keep learning about them so people that are not developing themselves people that are like oh i can't go forward people that are, i'm okay where i am they are not um they are not aspiring they, are, they don't have that aspiration to move forward you understand so those kind of people you do not need to associate yourself with them you need to continue to learn each day every day not when i talk about wisdom i'm not talking about academical wisdom alone you know? i'm not talking about intelligence in schools in education alone you know? i'm talking about where you can have conversation with people intelligent conversation you are there somebody you are discussing with somebody and somebody is busy telling you about the problem you or she has and not meaningful discussion with whatever it is that you are discussing oh how do you intend to change that kind of a person you understand i'm talking about knowledge i'm not talking about having intelligence alone you, those are people that you need to move with those are people that are not people that are not um I, I will like put them people that are not ready to move forward people that are not ready to learn people that are not ready to upskill people that are not ready to learn new things are just oh i'm okay this is okay for me you understand those people you need to 
as, as a matter of fact give them a little space okay have you seen like, like they say you, you you probably you're in a place and you are discussing budgets and somebody is like budgets what is budgets what are they talking about and the person is well even when the person wants to contribute the person is saying something different from what you're talking about is the person is not um is not intelligent the person is not um having that kind of um how will i put it now that kind of intelligent that you want the kind of discussion that you want them to be this kind of discussion you want them to have whatever it is that you are trying to be so people we, we, we must develop ourselves in every areas of life you must have a little knowledge about football a little knowledge about budget a little about the government you don't have to have everything but little so that when somebody is talking you will know that oh i can contribute a little bit and you can have intelligent conversation with people you know that said that um people that you need to cut off again are people that are poor in character this set of people they don't have integrity their world is not their bond you know as you are trying to find fulfillment you must develop your integrity your integrity people must be able to say oh if she says this please stand by it if she says a she means a even if you are not there people will defend you to the last letter you understand so people that do not have integrity people that can lie people that do not have feelings about others people that can antagonize people this kind of people my dear you need to avoid them while you are trying to find fulfillment as you discover yourself as you make decisions every day people will come to you and they are trying to deviate you from whatever it is that you have made yourself whatever it is that you have made up your mind to do these people when they come in you need to try to let them know i this is where i want to be your no should be your no your ne your yes should be your yes you must have that integrity integrity it is paramount in finding fulfillment even if somebody wants to help you to find your purpose the person will first of all ask is she dependable does she have integrity when I give her this to keep, can I find it where it is for her to keep? You understand? So integrity is very, very important in finding your fulfillment. The last people you need to try to avoid are people that are poor in attitude. They say attitude is very, very contagious. You cannot afford to stay with poor attitude. You know, as, as um, an HR person, they ask you once and they say, people that have emotional questions and people that have intelligent questions which of them are you going to employ this person knows the job this person can turn figures around but he does not have an attitude a single attitude is not that this person can is always quarreling this person is always it just bad attitude even customers are complaining are you ready to keep that kind of a person in your employment are you ready to keep that kind of a person wherever you are are you ready to associate yourself with that kind of a person no instead you would take somebody that have a little bit of um, intelligence at the same time his emotional attitude is top-notch because you know that intelligence he can increase he can learn on the job he can be better on that job so those are the people you want to associate yourself with people that are poor in attitude they can drain your energy they are always complaining they never see anything good in anybody but they always complain they complain here and there and then oh why is it that she's the only person doing it why is it that he's the only person doing it but whenever you even give them that job to do they cannot do it better but they are yet to bring you down the idea to discourage you my dear is you need to avoid those kind of things so that people will not drain your energy where you have a positive energy you are coming with a positive energy and somebody will just say something oh my goodness you are like wow how far is it poor in attitude you know this kind of people we also call them phd it's not phd in academics but phd as in pull him or down syndrome they can pull whoever it is that is up there with your talk with your attitude they can bring you down in one bit okay you need to avoid this kind of people poor in habits poor in habit this set of people are very lazy they procrastinate 
and they value comfort more than success. You see everyone, they ask you, what, what value are you bringing? What value are you bringing? As a friend, even to your friends, are you adding value to your friends? Even in your place of what, well, what value are you bringing to the table? Can your MG, can your, can your superior, can they count on you? Can they give you a tax and they relax and they say, oh, I trust this person to deliver. As a friend, what value are you adding to your friendship? What value are you adding to each other? Are you that kind of a person that is us bring, 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 bring and bring it? And you are not adding value to each other. When it comes to party, here you are. But when it comes to something that will add value to your friendship, nobody is able to do that. You need to reconsider your ways and reconsider kind of friendship. Okay? Those kind of people that are poor in habits, they bring you down. You see, they, they usually say, they said, we are a product of our environments, of our experience, and of our belief system. These three things shape our lives. Either you believe it or not. Your belief system, your environment, and your experience. This are, your belief system is what your parents taught you while you were growing. Because when you were with them, you learned one or two things. Your environment shape you also. If you stay in a place where the only thing they know is a negative word, what they know is negative attitude, it will affect you. Also, your experience in life, as you go along in life, you experience some things, either positive or negative things. Those things will shape your value system. So these kind of things, you need to also know. Okay, my belief system, what my parents told me before. Oh, okay. These things, I found out that they are no longer true. So I need to change them. Your belief system, your environment, or your experience, change your value system. Lastly, but not the end of this thing, it's poor in finance. Having a saving account is not the same thing as having saving. People that eat with their ten fingers, they do not plan for tomorrow. No investment of any kind. They just spend, spend, spend. You need to avoid this kind of people because when you collect your money, you need to learn how to invest your money. Invest in your life, invest in finance, invest in everything, in assets, in whatever. It's not enough to have a saving account. They ask you, oh, do you have a saving account? You say yes. But what do you have inside that saving account? What is it? As you try to find fulfillment, you need to save for tomorrow. You need because tomorrow, those are the things that you fall back into. If I ask you today, COVID-19 has come in. In, in the COVID-19 came in, nobody prepared for it. A lot of people have lost their job. If I ask you today, if you lose your job today, what is your fallback? What do you fall back on? Can you survive in the next six months? Let me just leave it there. Can you survive in the next six months without looking for money, without borrowing, without going about looking for brothers, without going about looking for friends? Please, I can't feed. I need to feed my family. Can you survive? those are fallbacks so as you find fulfillment those are things that you need to put in your cupboard those are things you need to put in your attitude poor in finance you need to go away from it and be good in your finances save for tomorrow deduct after your expenses what are you having behind not after you must have expended everything you have then you now start looking oh this is how much i have as you collect that money remove from it if it's 20 percent if it's 30 percent you want to save save it and don't look back have an expense book that you can go back onto and say oh this is how much i spent this month how much am i expecting have a budget if your budget does not have if the budget cannot go in for this month shelve it till next month don't put yourself under unnecessary pressure as covid 19 has come it has made us to make sure that oh there are things that are not even important clothing party shoes i'm buying this i want who do you want to impress with it they are not important what everybody is talking about right now is let me just survive that is what we're just to tell you that you need to set your priority rights. So in closing, folks, the first step in finding fulfillment is self-awareness. Number one, discover yourself. As you discover yourself, you will find your fulfillment. You know where you are. This is don't don't lie to yourself. This is me. This is who I am. Okay. 
find that person self-awareness this is where i am and this is where i am going into you understand who you are you understand your projection you understand where you are projecting you understand your goals and you begin to take them milestone by milestone and you begin to mark each one of them in finding your fulfillment as you achieve one goal you are fulfilled you move into the next one don't put all of them together finish one then you move into the next one as you round up this broadcast today i want to tell you please covid 19 is real covid 19 is so much with us so please folks wherever you are always ensure you are with your nose marks if you're in a crowded place always ensure you wash your hands properly at least for 20 seconds always ensure if there is no water you use an alcohol based sanitizer please we love you stay well and stay safe